Well, nothing happened today that we didn't expect. Uh, the uh, city manager and the mayor uh, articulated the positions that we were expecting them to articulate, which is basically uh, that uh, the 23 trees in question present a hazard to the public. Their own arborists and two others have identified the hazard in their view, and they have a responsibility to the community to take down any trees that pose a hazard. And then with uh, regard to the remaining seven trees that were on the original list of trees to be relocated, um, they, we heard something new today as a reason for why those trees need to be moved. Uh, and what we heard today was that they're not being moved due to design reasons, which has been the primary motivation that's been expressed until now over the last eight months. Rather, those seven trees are being relocated in order to protect them from further damage because they are in vulnerable locations and they could be hit by buses and have their roots pruned excessively. And so rather than expose them to these depredations of modern civilization, they're going to be relocated to an idyllic park in front of City Hall where they will thrive. Um, of course, a number of people uh, raised the question during the meeting, well, why are the buses hitting them to begin with? Uh, the buses should not be hitting them. Uh, what compensation is the city getting for city property in the form of trees that are getting destroyed? Uh, and uh, as well as uh, fundamental questions about uh, the, the viability of their own reports that support their position. So, you know, basically it was a face-to-face -face without any compromise. Hopefully they heard our request that, uh, that they take this back and reconsider it. Uh, I'm hopeful that they will reconsider the seven trees. The reason I say this is, um, is that of the, uh, you know, the original 31 trees that were going to be relocated, they agreed just to keep seven in place. I'm sorry, to uh, relocate seven and keep the other ones in place on the basis of, uh, of careful scientific investigations of the conditions of the roots of those trees. Well, my office is on one of those streets, and I uh, hardly saw any kind of investigation. There were, originally, they told us they were going to be digging five holes around each tree and seeing if the roots are all caught up in the pipes and all that. There was very little of that going on. The reality is they just pretty much arbitrarily, I think, decided which trees, uh, which trees were going to stay, probably for PR reasons. And so uh, my feeling is that uh, there's still hope for these seven trees because if they apply PR reasons to the others, they'll, they could easily apply PR reasons to these. As for the uh, 23 over which there's a dispute as to their structural integrity, I don't know where that goes. I mean, uh, they are very adamant in sticking to their positions. The mayor was very adamant. Uh, but uh, I think that we made a credible case for getting community support by getting an independent third party that would be paid for by both sides uh, to look at these trees one more time. Now, personally, I don't think the city will go with that because if we get an independent third party uh, who will examine these trees and side with a tree saver's position, then that will cast into doubt the credibility of the city's own forester. And, and by extension, the ability of the city manager to conduct a competent administration. So I think that at least the city manager's office will be resisting a third, a third party evaluation. But I'm hopeful that the mayor and other city council members uh, will see the light. Will you just uh, introduce the section and just tell us what, what the date is? It's April something and... and uh, what is the day today? Today is uh, April, April 21st, 2008. Uh, the weather is finally getting a little bit warmer. The trees are still here? Uh, the trees are still here. Um, so two trees yeah, have disappeared. Yeah, two trees have disappeared in front of one of the buildings that were cut down in the middle of the night in one of the new buildings. Um, and basically nothing has changed. We're all basically waiting to see what the outcome of the court case is going to be. And, Will you get into that? Yeah. you're talking about? Uh, yes, today, uh, today is the 21st. Uh, it's been status quo for the last month, largely. Uh, we're all waiting for the outcome of the court case that our lawyer Tom Nitty has been fighting. Uh, we're optimistic, obviously the city's optimistic that they will prevail. Uh, at the end of the day, after today's meeting, the lesson that the, city, that the city manager and the city mayor have basically been attempting to teach the community is that the only thing that will change their minds is a lawsuit. And I think that really is a tragedy in a city like Santa Monica.